I'm Robert Estre, and this is livingpianos.com with a really special piano. This piano is so unusual. It's a Chickering, one of the oldest American piano companies, but there's more to it than that. This piano was actually built at a time that Chickering was owned by Baldwin. So this was built by Baldwin, and virtually all the parts in here are Baldwin. It even has the AccuJust hitch pins, which I've talked about, and tone enhancing technology that uh, maximizes the down bearing for optimal tone, as you'll hear. More than that, the scale design is quite unique in that this is less than five feet long. Now, generally speaking, pianos under five feet get a bad rap because there's so many of these, what I call furniture pianos out there. They make these baby grand looking objects that really are primarily furniture that have very disappointing tones. Now, what Baldwin did with the chickering design is to utilize their wide tail and therefore you have a bigger soundboard area so you're going to be pleasantly surprised at the rich tone this piano has and of course the action is beautifully smooth it's a Baldwin action so listen to this piano I'm going to start off with some Scarlatti for you this is a little bit of his C, one of his C major sonatas <laughs> You know, it's really interesting. Playing this instrument, I don't feel like I'm playing such a small piano. It's got a good substantial feel, very responsive, but it's the tone that really sets this piano apart from other pianos of its size. Listen to the richness in this very dark movement, the second movement of Beethoven's Opus 10, number three. The piano is in like new condition. I feel like I'm playing a brand new piano. In fact, the tone will open up more over time because the hammers are barely grooved. Lots of life in this piano for a serious player. I'm going to now play something a little bit grander. This is the beginning of Chopin's Scherzo in B minor.
You know, I was going to stop there, but I just got to play a little bit of a Chopin nocturne for you to do this piano justice, to show you the poetry in a singing line, because after all, as I've mentioned so many times before, what separates a good piano from a great piano is the tone life, particularly in the treble. Listen to the opening section, kind of a condensed version of the F-sharp nocturne of Chopin. Did you hear that bell-like tone on top? It really is a special little piano. I am Robert at livingpianos.com for all your piano questions, which are addressed in future videos and our podcast, your online piano store with free delivery anywhere in the country on this piano and almost all our pianos. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.